G'day and welcome to the Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital. Today we're going to take you for an exclusive look inside at our beautiful wildlife and incredible nurses and vets. This is going to be such a special video, let's get into it. We've just entered the Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital. Now, when you first come in here, this is our triage area. So as we receive our wildlife patients, we bring them into these nice rooms where we can see how they move, the state of the injuries, how we should best treat them before we proceed inside the hospital. But first, Bindi is going to show us arguably the cutest room in the entire hospital. How's it going? Good, good. how are you? Very good. Yes. Hi, little buddy. Who do you have here? This is Button. So oh. Button is one of our little orphan common brush tail possums. Um, he came in, unfortunately, due to a tree felling. So unfortunately, mum didn't do so well. Um, but Button, on the other hand, is doing super, super well. As you can see, we have a good appetite going here. Still working out how to feed with us, hey, oh, silly head. Buttons. But he is cleared for care, so just waiting for a carer to come through to pick him up and they can take it from there, but he's doing super well. I think people don't realise how long it takes, what a long-term investment, because, oh, yeah. I mean, you come into the wildlife hospital and the team is amazing. You guys are incredible at taking care of all of the initial trauma and everything that yeah. the patient is going through. And then yeah. it's the recovery period and care with our amazing carers to get them it's so back true. into the wild. It's, it's so huge. true. It's huge. And every stage of development is so involved, you know, as to getting them used to eating, you know, foliage and everything, getting them you know, used to being wild, but still providing that level of care where they feel loved and secure. So there's so much involved. You're very Hello. strong. You're very demanding. Oh, Have sweetheart. More. It's very good. Oh, nice. I think it's incredible that will to survive. I know. You know like you yeah. can't even imagine how much you have been through in such yeah. a short amount of time. Exactly. And yet they just keep going. Yeah. It's extraordinary. They never feel sorry for themselves. No, they just keep <laughs> they going. They just keep going. Keep putting up with it. It's remarkable. We all need to take inspiration from that. We just do. Thank you so much for letting me pop in. No worries. That's really special. So sweet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think we've just melted everyone's hearts around the world. Your ridiculous button. Oh my gosh. There's that one little floppy ear. <laughs> Kills me. I'll see you soon, Mum. See ya. You. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> This is our reptile room here at the Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital. Personally, my favorite room. We treat everything from snakes, frogs, even giant goanna lizards we have here in Australia. And that's what Steve and Terry were all about, protecting the scaly animals just as much as the cute and fluffy because they all deserve our protection and play a very important role in our environment. And Nurse Ree is going to share them with us. I'm going to do a check on some carpet python hatchlings. Oh my goodness. That hatched yesterday in our reptile incubator. These eggs were actually found um, in a mound of mulch um, that was getting displaced by some workmen. So unfortunately the eggs had to be relocated um, because it was going to be disturbed and the eggs would have been destroyed otherwise. So what we did was put them in our reptile incubator and it's been a few months now and they hatched out yesterday. Oh so, my goodness. Super exciting. They can be released really soon. Oh my goodness. Look there at these are. little guys. <laughs> oh man, they're adorable. So these guys are right now obviously very small because they're just freshly hatched, but they'll grow to be meters, yards long, big snakes that can take down big size animals. And we're gonna do a head count. <laughs> yes, that sounds like a lot of fun. Let's do it. So we should have, let's have a look. Hey buddy. One. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's two. Two. Okay. I have hands, I can help. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yeah, it gets a little tricky when there's so many. It helps with a few extra hands. Yep. And when they hatch out, they're just a little mound of snake. All right. So we all just blend together. So I have two here, you have two, and so that's it. Five. Five. Five little baby carpet pythons. Look at that. How cute are they? Well, thank you so much. This, this is just okay. every day so special when you get to wrangle baby snakes. Now we had a total of 10 carpet python eggs come into the hospital, and these are the first five to hatch from that clutch of eggs. So hopefully their brothers and sisters aren't too far away behind them 
release them very soon. So it'll be very exciting. Awesome. Thanks, guys. We'll go check out more of the hospital. We have everything you could possibly think of that could help wildlife here at our Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital. We have our very own pathology lab to process our own bloods in-house. We have an x-ray room, and also over here, we have our bird ward. So I've got little Scott, the Brahmini kite here. What I'm gonna do is go get a weight on him. So we weigh them every morning to make sure that they're eating, gaining weight, doing well in care. Um, so I'm gonna take him through to get a weight. Oh, hi Scott. Is it weigh day today? So as cute and adorable as Scott is, we're actually going to cover his head with the towel. Now what this does is that it blocks their vision and helps them calm right down because they're not getting all that visual stimulation of a new and different environment. And we can now go weigh him. 550 grams. Oh, perfect. And those Americans, his weight is here. An American. <laughs> now, Scott the Brahmini kite was actually rescued by our rescue unit here at Australia Zoo. So in addition to our wildlife hospital, we essentially have a wildlife ambulance that goes around our region helping wildlife in need, bringing them to our hospital for treatment, and then eventually, best case scenario, releasing them back out into the wild. But now that we're here in our treatment room anyway, let's go see some more very special patients here. Oh my goodness, who is this guy? Um, so this is little Arrakis. Arrakis? Yeah, we need, we need your help Google on it. that one. Uh, is it Arrakis, Arrakis or Arrakis? Yeah. And it's a green sea turtle. Um, it's come in for floating, so we're just going to have a quick check out and, and see what's going on inside this shell to work out whether we can help them. Um, they take a very long time to grow, yeah. and you know the 150 kilo ones are very so old, yes. like 100 plus years. So. He'd probably be in the five yeah. to ten ish. Very young. Super young, and that's yep. that's too young to be feeling this mm. sick, buddy. Yep. So you're gonna give him a good check over, and then he'll spend time in our in our turtle pools and work on recovery. Do you think? Yeah, hopefully. Um, we will give him some X-rays and take some bloods, yeah. um, and see where we go from there. Yeah. That's really good. Oh, buddy. Well, we hope you feel better. I'm so sorry you feel oh. so low. Oh, sweetheart. See, it's in incredible the resilience of sea turtles. They are such strong animals. They're like little sea angels, but also dinosaurs at the same time. And so it takes a lot for a sea turtle to be just this low. I mean, sea turtles are so filled with fire. <laughs> they have so much energy. So the fact that he's this low is really worrying. But please, Definitely. please remember to, to be very careful and um, remember that we're, we're all part of this beautiful planet and all of our actions ripple down throughout the entire chain. So yeah, thank you guys. And we hope you feel better, buddy. Feel better soon. You're in the best hands possible. We wanted to thank you guys for tuning in for a tour of our Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital. You got to see a little glimpse of our facilities. However, there is so much more to see here but you'll just have to come visit us to check it out yourself. Absolutely, thank you for being wildlife warriors and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>